what's going on guys, it's Kitty Paintball and today I have another technical breakdown. We are taking a look at Pointed Eclipse's IV Core, specifically in the Geo CS1 platform, but this will also be the same for the CSR, the CS1.5, the CS Pro, and the Geo 4. The IV Core was released by PE in 2014. It is a unbalanced spool valve engine which has a reactive valve or breach sensing technology. So let's jump into it. Starting off at the air source, we have the tank. Air is regulated through the SL5 high pressure regulator, dropping down the pressure to approximately 135 psi. From the regulator, air is fed through the frame and directly into what PE refers to as the ISC IS3 or the Innovative Solenoid Controlled Isolation System, which I'll explain what that means later. On the left, here we have the supply, air supplying the air chamber. Here we have the air being routed to the MAC valve, or pilot valve. And lastly, we have the air that is holding back the bolt into its rear position. Uh, we'll call this the air sear. Note that the reactive valve, or the prop shaft, is in its rearward position. So let's see what happens once the trigger is pulled and the sequence starts. The micro switch sends a signal to the pilot valve. The pilot valve routes air to the solenoid spool and will shift it to the left here, redirecting the air paths. At this point, the supply from the HPR is sealed from the air chamber, and the air sear has essentially let go. This air is now being vented through the SFR. Air in the chamber will now start driving the bolt forward. Once the ports at the back of the bolt pass over the prop shaft, the 14x2 o-rings here, the air from the chamber is able to vent over the prop shaft tip and through the bolt, propelling the ball through the barrel. At this time, that air is now traveling down the prop shaft and into the air chamber behind the shaft. This pressure causes the prop shaft to shift forward. Now watch as the 14 by two O-ring seal slides in front of the ports at the back of the bolt. This seals the remaining air in the chamber and prevents it from being vented down the barrel. This breach sensing technology allows the IV core to capture approximately 25 PSI of air per shot, which is what allows the IV core to be so efficient. Now the dwell in the solenoid has ended and the spool is returned to its resting position. The supply is now filling the air chamber and the solenoid is again holding the bolt in its rear position ready for the next shot. As you can see the IV core is a fairly simple engine in terms of sequencing. By its design you can see where the shot characteristics come from its characteristically smooth shot can be explained by the speed in which the bolt moves at. The air sear enters the can via a single hole. When you compare it to the Infinity Drive, which has four, combine this with the adjustable SFR, which controls how quickly that air vents, it's able to dampen the speed of the bolt, so the user can choose between a soft or snappier shot. Going back to the ISC IS3 system, which I find kind of interesting, the IV core uses the solenoid as the chamber switch, where in the Infinity Drive the bolt acts as the chamber switch, cutting off that supply to the chamber. So that is Planet Eclipse's IV core. Again, I hope you guys find this informative. If you guys have any questions, be sure to ask, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.